Hi, I'm Paula with the Dog Breeder Store. And this video is to address those people who are interested in using a very popular method to dock tails these days. It's called banding. And uh, we've had a banding kit out for a very long time. And I wanted to address a question that comes up a lot, which is what size and type of band should I be using to, if I want to band my puppies? We used to shear dock puppies, but banding is much less trauma and you'll get a better effect when you do banding. So the, the question here today is what kind and size of bands are we gonna be using? So the dog breeder sells a tail docking and dew claw removal kit that comes with a booklet, a 19 page booklet that has great instructions, wonderful photography, and it aligns with the videos that we have on our playlist at, on the YouTube channel, the dog breeder channel. So what we have here is we have different sizes and types of bands, and I want to show you what is acceptable and not. This band comes with our kit. It's a 1 8 inch band, and this band is appropriate for almost all puppies. Uh, any of the average size puppies, we raise boxers, they work for them, um, and uh, puppies that are, let's say, 6 ounces up to maybe a pound and a half at birth. This band is a 3 16 inch band. This band is appropriate in a couple of situations. One is where you have puppies with really thin tails. Maybe they're three or four ounces at birth. They have really thin tails. And this band might slide on them. So we want to actually have a slightly bigger band. And we want to put it on the elastrator prongs. And we want to double it over just like somebody would double over a ponytail band. So the other situation where you might use a 3 16 inch band is where you have a puppy that, let's say, is more fussy and it has a very fat tail and this band is not going to slide on them. Um, and we've been, I don't want to single anybody out, but I have, we've been using these on Rottweilers a lot. Um, so that's the use for this larger band, either for very thin tail or for a very fat tail. And with thin tail, you're going to double it over. This is a quarter inch band. This is absolutely not appropriate for puppies. So don't buy bands this size. And this is a band that I'm seeing in a lot of copycat kits that are being offered on the internet. And this is one that I ordered just to see what people are selling. And it came with an elastrator that's uh, not very good quality. And it came with bands that are actually used by farmers to um, castrate lambs. These can damage a puppy. So make sure that you're not using these bands. Um, don't buy them at a farm supply or on the internet. Make sure you're getting the bands from somebody like at the dog breeder store where we know what we're doing and we can make sure that you have the correct bands so you have success and you have a really beautiful tail when you're done with your puppies. We also offer our kits with excellent quality elastrators. We have evaluated a lot of elastrators. Some of them break when you push on them. Some of them are covered with all kinds of weird chemicals. Some of them uh, just peel when you uh, start to use them. So we have a QA process. We make sure that the elastrators and the equipment that you get from us is top quality and you're going to be successful with it. So I hope this answers the questions about the band size and type. Please don't ever use these bands on any puppies. Don't use the big bands. Only You're only going to use the 1 8 inch band, which is the smallest one made or the 3 16 inch band. And if you get them from the dog breeder store, they are the correct size and type and you'll get great instructions. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the dog breeder channel and to our mailing list for articles at thedogbreedersstore.com.